Hello everyone, so in this lesson we'll just start off by explaining some key features and some customizations in Unity. How to customize your windows. So all of these are basically windows. We have the scene view window, we have the game view window, we have the hierarchy window, project, console window, and the inspector window. These are the main windows, but you can also add some windows right here, which are, for example, animation. Animation, this is the animation timeline window. We will be using this later on. All of them here are important, but these, all of these that I have right here are the most important ones. So all of these windows, you can basically just drag them and drop them wherever you want. So if you wanted the inspector to be here, or for example, the hierarchy to be on the right, and you wanted the game window to be, for example, here, for example, if you wanted something like this, or maybe something else, you could do you could do this, and it can still function, it can still work. But let's say you played around too much, and you don't like the current layout of, of how it looks. So you can just go to Window, go to Layout, and then just go to Reset All Layouts. And as you can see right here, it's back to normal everything is back to normal now in the game view you can go and select how uh, what what aspect you want I'm just going to select a 16 by 9 aspect so let's talk about the different menus we have we have the scene view right here which is basically the behind the scenes view of our game you can basically add like a couple of sprites here we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be adding a couple of sprites here sprites are 2d images we will be adding them right here and we will be dragging them and dropping them over here. This is the game view. This is where you'll be playtesting your game. This is the hierarchy view. So basically everything in the scene view will be available here. Everything which is going to be basically just a list of game objects. This is the project view and this is the asset section. So basically uh, whatever, whenever you add something like a game object or an asset or maybe like a 2D sprite, a 3D model, um, a muse, some some music, some sound effects, maybe it'll all be added here as assets. Or maybe you want to make a prefab, which is like a game object, but you can use them multiple times. We'll be we'll be using that. Or maybe you just want to make a particle effect. You can add them all right here as assets, and you can use them more than once. This is the console view. This is where we'll be doing all the debugging. Whenever there is something or there is a problem, you can uh, debug it right here. This is the inspector window. So for example, if we have a game object right here and we click on it, we click on the inspector window to add a component. Maybe we want to just see the details about the specific game object. Maybe we want to see the position, the rotation or the scale of the game object. So we go to the inspector view. These are the transform right here is a component. It's called a component. You can add multiple components right here and you can add scripts. Scripts are basically components. We'll be getting to that later on. This is the tag, little tag option. And this is the layer option. This is the name of the uh, of the game object. So we can add like multiple sprites here and we can change their names or maybe a particle effect and we can change its name. This is the camera. We can change the size of the camera right here, or we can change change it to maybe like ten, and this will be a bit bigger. Currently, nothing is on the uh, on the scene window, so we don't have anything to compare it to. Its size. You can change the projection from orthographic to or to perspective. Perspective is basically like um, a three D view of the camera. Currently, it's on orthographic because we want to make a 2D game. Uh, this is the color. So basically, if you want to change the color, you can change it from here, like the background color. You can make it a skybox, a solid color. Skybox is basically for 3D games mostly. Solid color is a solid background color for our game. Currently, we have solid color selected. And this is the audio listener. This is the move tool. You can move the uh, you can move the scene. You can move from the scene view right here. This is the axis option. 
you can select the game object and move it with these axes if you hold it here you can move it on all axes if you hold it from here only on the x-axis and only on this is the y-axis you can move it from only the y-axis from here or only on the x-axis from here this is the rotate you can rotate it here you know what I'm just going to add a square this is a simple little square as you can see there is an extra component right here it's a sprite renderer component to render the sprite to render the image of the uh, square you can even change the color of the square you can flip it X and Y currently it's not showing anything because it's just a square uh, you can change the order in layer 2 but we wanna rotate it so we rotate it on the uh, on the Z axis right here we can rotate it right here on the X around the X axis you can rotate it on the Y axis right here or you can rotate it around all the axes right here but it's just for 3d we're currently rotating it on the X axis and it's just for 3d so now let's just um, reset it you can reset a specific property right here I'm just gonna reset the position first and reset the rotation you can reset them all at once from here but just to show you you can even copy the position or the rotation of the scale you can copy the position or the position from its world and you can reset it perfect you can also make it bigger from the x-axis from the y-axis or from the x-axis controls you to undo you can even make it bigger with this this is a different tool this is the red tool this was the scale tool and this is basically all the tools mushed up into one weird ass tool, <laughs> weird tool nobody uses this I've never used this at all and I've been using unity for like two years never used this in my life I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna click on W I basically just used hot keys for these which are W to move uh, I hold the right mouse button uh, I uh, hold the right click to move and the middle mouse button also to move uh, to move a specific object I click on W and then move it right here if I want to rotate it I click on E and rotate it from here if I want to make it bigger I just click on T or I click on R T for the rec tool R for the scale tool I mostly use the rec tool for 2D games, but this also has its purposes. And well, that was basically it, just like a show, showing you around of Unity, its basic functions really. And that's it, these are like the most important stuff. This is the 2D view, you can change from 2D to 3D view with this one. Uh, this is toggle audio on or off, toggle skybox, fog. This is a toggle of gizmos. You can basically open this and maybe play around with the gizmos a bit. You can see that this icon, camera icon, is getting a bit bigger or smaller. I'm just going to keep it like this. You can disable or enable 3D, uh, 3D gizmos by clicking on this right here. And well, that was basically it. This was a tour of Unity, basically. And that was basically it. See you in the next lesson.